Hello, my name is Nelson. I'm a student officer for Radio Christi, and today we're going to be interviewing some students on campus to see if they believe in God, why they believe in God, and what would change their minds about their beliefs. So come on, let's see what they have to say. Hi everyone, it's Gene Calderon here with Roger Christie, again here with Nelson, uh, our student officer on campus, just asking students questions about whether or not they believe in God, why they believe or not believe in God, and what, what might change their mind. And we just uh, watched um, the, the last student, and he did say he believed in a higher power, and whether or not it was what he called the Christian slash Catholic God, yeah. he wasn't really sure, um, but he says he believes in something um, because he doesn't think that we would be here for just no reason or no purpose. I, I'm kind of paraphrasing what he said. I don't remember exactly how he said it, but um, what's your response? Or how would you look at that? Um, I think that that's, I think that's a great way to start. Um, again, more time would allow us to see his reasoning and how he came about this, this idea mm -hmm. because he's, he's obviously not, he, he probably doesn't just believe in materialism. You know what I mean? Like he just doesn't, he he doesn't believe that it, that matter is is everything. You know mm -hmm. what I mean. He he probably believes that there's something beyond that. I would like to see what what causes you to believe that. Um, what what kind of experiences would cause you to believe that? If they're based off of reasoning or experiences, again, because like with other interviews that we've done, uh, a lot of people's faith or their their beliefs are based off of experiences, which they're not completely like wrong, but at the same time. You can't apply experiences to like everyone. You know. You know what I mean. Yeah. Um, and so I don't think it was. I think it's again. I think it's a, just a, a the right direction of where he's thinking. Exactly. Yeah. Because one of the things that he he was uh, specific about. He says, you know, it seems like we have a purpose, and every time we see something that has a purpose, we know that it was it must be designed for mm -hmm. that purpose, and therefore now because we see design or attributes that point back to a designer, that leads back to what we call a theistic God, uh, which is highly intelligent, which has created the world, and in that world uh, put his intricate design f to fulfill his purpose, whatever that mm -hmm. purpose may be. So he's on that track. He hasn't got that far, as far as we can tell. Um, but like you said, I think that is a great way to look at the world. It's like, look, there's stuff here, and because of all the stuff, it's pointing to we must be here for a reason. And that's, that's a good way to start. But again, he was just really struggling with where that God is, who that God is. Um, but good way to start, I think, for any of us. Even if you're already in church, try to figure out what's the purpose of life uh, is one of the main things. Um, so, oh, so as far as his, I mean, we kind of like, throw him back yeah. with, with um, asking him what would change his mind. And that's, that's, I think, something we should all take, even believers yeah, yeah. in church, serving <clears throat> the Lord. What would change my mind? Because there's nothing wrong with asking that. Even mm -hmm. Paul says, hey, test everything, you know. Um, so we kind of throw him back with that, um, which is not bad. But again, we're, we're seeing that some of these students are not being challenged mm -hmm. in their beliefs. Well, whether it doesn't matter the side, like people who ha have strong convictions, most people who, re who are even skeptics don't even have what would convince them yeah. otherwise. Right. And this is why we're asking these questions. Um, just trying to, to wake some students up to the fact that, hey, we are a club here on campus that are willing to dig into these questions. But also, do you know where you stand? Like, really? Or is this just where you prefer to be? Um, so what were some of the things he said about uh, what might change his mind? He didn't have really an answer for himself. Um, I know that you were you were throwing some examples out there like... Um, yeah, because he was kind of, he was taken back. He didn't really know what to say. So I'm like, how about this? How about that? You know? Yeah, because the examples that you gave him, he, he basically said, yeah, 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 that'll, that would work, you know? Right, and the, some of the examples I gave, like some of the evidences or some of the worldviews or perspectives mm -hmm. that you might come that might change his mind. But even that, he, you could just tell he had never thought about yeah. this before. But he did say something that he wanted it to be unbiased. Whatever it is, it has to be unbiased, which I jokingly said on the side, that's a bias. <laughs> they say, it has to be unbiased. Do you realize that mm -hmm. that itself is a bias? You are biased to finding an unbiased claim. And there's nothing wrong with being biased. Um, there's, I mean, like, if my mom bakes a cake and we're at a baking context, I'm going to say my mom's is the best. Why? Because I, like, I grew up with her cooking, right? But to be able to look at the mm -hmm. truth of how that 
pie was made or a cake was made, that's something different. You can bring your biases, but we need to be able to look at the truth still. So I don't know if you've ever considered that, but when he said biases and the things that he was looking for, what, what were some of the things that you, what we, you think we may be able to offer a student who says, I just want a neutral stance, something that's not biased, even though that's a bias? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think it is possible to, to come across a bias source because whether it's biased or not, even if you do find the neutral source, the manner in which you interpret that information is going to be biased according to yourself. Mm -hmm. So I think we could start there by first establishing that all the information that we're going to present in this group is going to be biased one way or another. Just because something is biased doesn't mean that it's not true. Right. We have, like, this, the stuff that we discuss is very much true. It's provable. It's, te it's testable. Um, and what we believe is testable in different disciplines, like we mentioned before. Yeah. Um, and so if it, uh, given that, it, it is going to be biased because we do believe. We already established that yeah. we believe. Um, we try to be as open-minded as possible, but again, we're human beings, so mm -hmm. we all we always have a bias. But again, it doesn't take away from the validity of what we're talking about. Right. It, it again, it reminds me of some people don't like certain things or certain beliefs because of the person who presented it to them. Uh, they were a jerk. They didn't treat me right. They didn't treat me the way I thought I should be treated, mm -hmm. and therefore, I'm just not going to believe what they believe. Doesn't it doesn't mention anything about whether or not that belief is true or not? And mm -hmm. so that's kind of the same thing. Like, yeah, some people are going to be biased. Try to see through the filter of that bias and just look at it and say, okay, but is it true? Mm -hmm. um, so it seems like he'd be open to that. Yeah. Um, he just, he's just hoping that it wasn't biased, but uh, you're not going to get around that. But if you're at least open to look through the bias or through the filter mm -hmm. of that, uh, we'd be able to discover truth. And so, well, that was another student we talked to. And uh, again, we invited him to Ratio Christi. Um, we'll see how things go. Um, hopefully, he may be able to watch some of these videos as we're putting them out. And it's, again, all meant to equip every one of us to be able to understand why we believe, what we believe, and share that in a winsome way to win others to the Lord. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.